This is the free motion quilting tutorial for flame ray flower. This design is stitched by first starting with the center circle and then you're going to radiate out from that center circle with a flame ray. And what that is is basically just a long line of sharp stippling, uh, which is another design from the project. And you're just kind of flowing that ray out to the edge of your quilting space. If you were actually creating a flower design, you could of course come to a point to create this as more of like a petal shape. But if you're filling a block, this is the best way to stitch it. You're going to stitch it all the way to the edge, and then you're going to quilt the opposite side all the way back to the center circle. You notice that this looks a lot like stippling, only each wiggly flame line comes to a point and then echoes back. So if you want to think of it as really any design, think of it as stippling only with sharp points at the end rather than a curved uh, end. And uh, really to do the flame ray, you can see that I kind of uh, start kind of wide coming back and then I'm gradually bringing that in so that way it is actually a ray. It radiates out from very skinny to very wide uh, whenever it reaches the edges of the quilting space and that helps to fill the quilting space completely. This is a fairly easy design. It is started in the middle of your quilting space so of course it does require a thread break in order to get started but it's a very simple design and it can work in the nice open areas of your quilt fill it with some very beautiful texture. When you get to the last flame ray, you're going to want to kind of butt this in and fit this together with the um, one that it's kind of fitting next to, the original first line. And you can see I'm extending these rays nice and long and that's just with a wiggly line kind of echo stitching the one before it, bringing that in, uh, curling around and then stitching back. It's very, very simple. Just simply get into a rhythm with your echo stitching, uh, figure out what distance that you want to stitch, and, uh, and then quilt it very carefully, uh, making sure that you keep that distance consistent throughout the rest of your quilting space. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Flame Ray Flower. For over 200 videos on free motion quilting, check out daystyledesigns.com.